Hey guys, don't mind me, just walking around in circles. Well, what I usually do, gotta get my steps. Anyway, quick interjection, someone stole my phone. Stay tuned to find out who. You won't have to wait very long, but you will have to wait a long time towards the end of the video, because I got a special announcement. Announcement. Blah, blah, blah. It would help if I could talk. Special announcement at the end of the video. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm getting dizzy, gotta stop. But first, we'll play a quick game, guys. When I get done talking, pause the video and put in the comment section down below how many times you th guys think whoever took my camera will try and outro this video. Just guess it down below. You know my signature auto, ta-ta for now. How many times do you think he'll say, he or she will say that? Guess down there in the comments right now. Pause it, do it. I'll get into the video. Oh, 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 oh. not again. <laughs> well, good morning. Good afternoon or good evening. Welcome to Heart Tongue Family Farms. Once again, this here is the Bud Man, Ronald's dad. Today, I'm gonna do something that I've never done this time of the year before, is we're gonna move cows from one part of the farm to the other. Reason is, as you can see, out the window, there's no snow here in Jackson County. So we're gonna utilize the cornfield as feed and move these cows. Looks like I have about a four or five day window before it gets really cold because once it gets cold my water source freezes up and I'll show that to you once we get out to the farm but uh so then I got to move them back across the road where the water source is open all year round but so what we're gonna do last time we moved cows I took you up a tour up the big hill to the field of the west well today we're gonna bring them down off that field and take them up the valley to the field to the east so there's about 33 acres of cornfield up there that I have and we'll just turn those 47 head of cows out there and let them graze for I'm hoping Saturday or Sunday because next Monday is supposed to get really cold up here like in the teens below the teens the single digits actually eight and nine above so that will freeze up my water source. With that, I'm just coming into Bellevue now, so we're going to make a stop at the Raider Brothers here. I gotta pay a bill, and then we're gonna head out to the farm, and we're gonna go on a little tour here today. So with that, we'll catch up with you here a little bit. As Ronald always says, ta-ta for now. Okay, I'm back. I'm up in the field here where we dropped the cows off about eight days ago, so now we gotta Make sure there's 47 of them up here. So we're gonna take them down that hill, back up another hill, way over there. On the other side of those trees, that's where we're gonna get them. So, I just gotta locate them up here. There's 33 acres up here in this field here. They've been up here, the 47 cows been up here for probably about eight days, I think. We're gonna see where they're at. Should be right on the other side of this hill here. Hopefully there's 47. Then we will see if we can get into a different field. If we can get 47 of them way off in the distance to the south there you can see the Bellevue water tower I can see old number 12 over there I can see her okay we're gonna see if we get a count so I gotta shut this off for a little bit so this here is the bud man I'm gonna see if we get 47 cows so ta-ta for now they're starting to come and bus and bus if we get 47 of them to come back with us. Down the big mountain, up the hill, up the big, another big mountain. We'll see what happens. And bass, and bass. And bus. Beautiful day out, sun shining. Be about 10.30. That one up there don't want to cooperate too well. Should come though. And bus, and bus. Us. Slowly but sure, no cow. Just gotta make sure we get 40 south of them. No cow left behind. Slowly 
slowly but sure, they're coming. The biggest thing is we gotta get them all. Ronald's cow right there. Ooh, it's my cow, hello cow. Well, here's the long hill down. We're coming slowly, but as you can see, we have to go all the way down this hill and back way up the top of that mountain there. The best, the best. Slowly but surely, we're herding them down. The bug man up here, Hard Tongue Family Farms. Walking them down the hill. The best, the best, the best. Slowly but surely, here they come. Catch up yet at the bottom of the hill. As you can see, we're getting towards the bottom of the hill. Here comes the hard part. Get down to the bottom, we gotta take a hard left and go back up that bottom there. So we'll see what happens once we get down here. It's a lot easier if I had two more guys. That way we had two to follow. One could block here, one could follow back there. And I would lead them. But since there's only me today, to get them going here. Coming down to the bottom of the hill here. You will know, see my hay cart down here when we get down here. Hopefully they don't go that way. We want them to go up this way here. Way up yonder, there's the gravel road. There's the hay cart, there's the gravel. The hard part is to get them to turn this corner here and head back up this way. So we'll see what they do here. Like I said, it's a beautiful day. It's probably about 32, 34 degrees. Supposed to get up to about 39 today. But I did see a deer come when I was coming down. I wish I would have had this on because it was pretty close. It was a shooter. Looked like a nice eight, maybe a nine pointer. Well, I told you it wasn't gonna be easy. This is my second trip up this big hill. They're gonna go up and around and around the corner and up top there. I got 15 cows up there right now. That means I got 32 that are coming. A bus! A bus! So, slowly but surely, they're coming. Once they get to that cornfield, they're gonna like it. As you can see, there's 16 of them up here right now. A bus! A bus! Here comes 17. There's my deer hunting shack. I got one there, I got one way over there. And I got a deer hunting shack. You just see it way up there in the horizon there. So slowly but surely they're coming. A bass! A bass! About two hours, we're finally getting them up here. So, okay, with that being said, this is the Bud Man saying ta-ta for now. Okay, here's the Bud Man again. If you notice, I got a heavier hat on now. It's a little chilly out. My last four right there. We'll have 47 up in this field here. Mm. Took me just shy of about an hour and 45 minutes to get them all up here. Off of one field, down the hill, and back up the other hill. They should be happy here for hopefully until Sunday, then we'll move them back across the road. It's supposed to get cold next week. So there's one of my deer hunting shacks. This is called my East Field. There's 33 acres over here also. Nice little day here. Well, now we're gonna go out here and make sure they're all nice and comfy. And we'll call it a day. So, what do you do from Hard Tongue Family Farms in Jackson County, Bellevue, Iowa. This is Ronald's dad, the Bud Man, saying ta-ta for now. Okay, to combat the dizziness, I would decide to go the other way. So it's probably gonna make it twice as worse, but I don't know. Here's the announcement I got, guys. I am going to be going to the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. If you guys are going to be there, I will for sure, I'm not sure exactly what days I will be there. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Blech.
I'm not sure exactly what days that I will be there, but more than likely I will be there Saturday morning and all of Friday, but I have not decided how much of Thursday, if any, I will be there. So if you guys are going to be going down there, like I said, I'll have more information coming out. I'd love to meet as many of you guys as possible. I will sure there's going to be quite a bit of people there. I'm pretty sure Brian Brown Farms will be there. Alex at LR Roush Farms will probably be there. So there's probably going to be a good amount of guys there. Uh, last year I met Welkers, Suzanne from uh, What the Farm Girl, Ryan and How Farms Works. There's going to be a lot of good personalities there. So if you guys are anywhere near Louisville, Kentucky, be sure to make the trip down. I'd love to meet all you guys. So like I said, more information will be coming out closer to the event. But anyway, I look forward to seeing you guys. Have a happy uh, January. It's not too bad around here. Hopefully, cross the fingers, we'll be getting some field work done. I know in January. It's pretty crazy up in my parts. But that might be a possibility. Now, close the video out. What my dad forgot to say is follow us on Facebook and Instagram and be sure to hit that like button, comment if you guys have any questions, and be sure to subscribe too. Dad, you got to get a little better at that stuff. But anyway, be sure to let my dad know how he did down below. Comment that. That's what you guys need to comment. But anyway, ta-ta for now.